air, water and weather. Hi! I am very glad to meet you all. You may have some idea about the air and water around us. But do you know about weather? You will really enjoy learning about this. What is the weather like today? Ma'am, it is very sunny today. How was the weather yesterday? Ma'am, yesterday it was rainy. Is the weather same every day? No, mm -hmm. ma'am. Yes, it may be sunny, rainy, cloudy or foggy. The weather can change very quickly. It may be sunny in the morning and cloudy in the evening. Weather is the condition of air, clouds, rain and sun of a place at a particular time. We have different weather at different times of a year. Summer, spring, winter, monsoon and autumn. The sun's role. We know that our planet Earth is slightly slanted and rotates on its own axis. This is called rotation. At the same time, it also revolves around the sun. This is called revolution. Rotation causes day and night. Revolution causes changes in the season. The part of Earth that comes closer to the sun has longer and hotter days, that is summer. The parts that are away has cooler and shorter days, that is winter. Can anybody guess why it is cool under the trees even in summer? It is because the water vapor are released by the leaves of the trees. Very good. More about air. Air is a mixture of various gases like nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, etc. It also contains water vapor and dust. The blanket of air that surrounds our earth is called the atmosphere. The layer of ozone in the upper part of the atmosphere protects us from sun's harmful rays. Air is invisible, but you can feel it and cannot live without it. Moving air is called wind. A gentle wind is called a breeze. A strong wind is called a gale and very strong winds are called storms. If storms occur with thunder and lightning, they are called thunderstorms. Land and sea breezes. As we learned earlier, the hot air is lighter than cool air. So it goes up and the cool air rushes to fill the space. During the daytime, the land gets heated more than the water in the sea. The air on the land gets heated and moves up. The cool air from the sea blows to take its place. This blow of air from sea towards land is called sea breeze. At night, the land cools faster than the sea water. The warm air above water rises up. The cool air above the land rushes to take its place. This blow of air from land towards sea is called the land breeze. Evaporation The water in seas, lakes, ponds and rivers get heated by the heat of the sun and changes to water vapour. This is called evaporation. Condensation on cooling, the water vapor condenses into water drops. This is called condensation. We get rain when water vapor of the clouds condenses into water. This cycle goes on and on. This process of evaporation and condensation in nature throughout the year is called the water cycle. Purification of water Water can be purified by various methods. Let's see some of them. Boiling Boiling the water for at least 10 minutes kills the germs in it. The boiled water should be stored in clean and covered containers. 
Decantation Decantation is another method of purifying water. The mud mixed water in a container, if left untouched for some time, slowly settles down and we get clean water on the upper portion. It can be slowly filtered. Decanted water still have lot of impurities. Filtration In this process, a filter paper is used to filter the water. We get clean water and the impurities remain on the filter paper as they cannot pass through the tiny pores of the filter paper. Chlorination In this process, chlorine is added to the water which kills the germs in it. Chlorine is a gas and also available as chlorine tablets. Chlorinated water is free of germs and pure to drink. Uses of water Water is very important for us, for the animals and for plants. Apart from drinking, we use water for various purposes. Can you name some of them? Cooking, washing, bathing, swimming and watering plants. Some other uses are water transport like ship and boat. Water in dams is used to generate electricity. Tips to handle water Portable or the drinking water is very precious. We should not waste water. Drinking water should be stored in a clean place and in a clean container. Drinking water containers should be regularly cleaned. The tap water may contain germs, so it should be boiled before using. The water storage tanks should be cleaned periodically.